Impressive start from Colin Osborne here in the opening match. Day seven of the Labrooks.com World Championship here at the Alexandra Palace. Osborne playing the Yorkshireman, Chris Thompson. And, uh, winning the first set, impressive average of 95, plus a couple of maximums. This is how the rest of the night unfolds. South Africa against the West Indies. Darts, not cricket. Devon Peterson and Norman Madhu. Uh, Barry Bates, uh, who shot at the World Cup of Darts against Kevin McDyne. And then the match of the night. Barney starting his assault on a sixth World Championship title. And then Jamie Caven could be one of the dark horses here this year at the World Championship taking off either Peterson or Madhu. But here, Colin Osborne, the wizard, Second is good in the opening stages Oliver. of this Game match on. against the World Championship debutant from Yorkshire. Proud Yorkshireman Chris Thompson uh, works in a legal firm in York. 85. To take a, a week off work to prepare for the darts. Yeah, it's Osborne who's laying down the law in this match, though. He's uh, certainly deserved to win that first leg. A full ten points difference in the average between himself and the Leeds United fan. Thompson, 60. yeah, he loves the lads at Ellen Road. And I'm pretty certain the manager, Simon Grayson, might well be watching. I know he loves his darts. I'm sure you'll be watching, Simon. I've got to say, Stuart, I think Leeds United have rather more chance of playing in the Premier League next year than with... Than, uh, Thompson himself, he'd love to play in the Premier League darts, of course, yeah. wouldn't he? But, well, Leeds are possibly going to be there, footballing-wise. 130 he's, he's been really impressive on the treble by teams, Colin Osborne, thus far. Yeah, I remember having a, a chat with Simon Grayson when he was manager of Blackpool in the, in the lift of the hotel he was staying at at the World Match Play. 100. Uh, always glued to the big darts events. Brother Paul as well, uh, look at her, of course, been to the... Circus Tavern a few times with good old Ronnie Arani. Well, it has been exceptional, Colin Osborne, his treble 19 shooting tonight. 97. Maybe a chance here. Well, he's got it back here with one dart. Good dart that was from the Yorkshireman. 100. The lad broke slashes. Yes, well, you may well be, my love, but uh, that's none of my business. 80 scored. Looking good. Yeah, that's a terrific goal. You could see that he wasn't getting another one in there. And he moved across to the 18s very methodically. I have to say, uh, very impressed with the way that Colin Osborne has gone about his business tonight. Uh, slip down to the world number 14. Uh, we all know he's a better player than that. Tops to break the throw. 50 Yes, uh, well, the chance goes. Well, I think it's going to be pretty good to be number 14 in the PDC these days. If you're in the top 32, you're. Here we go, double 16, no props! Yeah. Yeah. Is it the first leg? First leg with Thompson. to Thompson. Second leg Colin to throw first. To break. Game on. Yeah. That might be an opportunity missed there for Colin Osborne. He's been pretty good on tops, but not on that occasion. And uh, Thompson holds throw. 100. Chris Thompson enjoying what he said would be the uh, biggest Easy hour one. of his darted career, the Yorkshireman. Yes, well, we can see that you're not, but Stuart and I are at work. We're not dodging work, are we, for the darts? A lot of room here for Osborne. 100. Yeah, Thompson, is, uh, his kids, Adam. Uh, Leanne and Daniel watching at home. Uh, his eldest son, by the way, John Adam, is captain of the Yorkshire youth team. He's played for, for England youth as well. Uh, a real darting family, the Thompsons. Yes, Nana Pat is looking after them. Adam, as you say, Leanne and Daniel, they're allowed to stay up tonight. 
to watch Dad on the box. One hundred. He's going to have to work hard to win this. Eighty-three. Just keeps Pulling himself in the leg. Uh, Osborne averaging ninety-seven to Thompson's eighty-six. So the Yorkshireman is going to have to to improve if he's going to make any impression in this match. Gets a treble, he'll leave 76 again, as he did in the last leg. 45. Yes. Uh, I always maintain, if you average 90 when it's your throw, the other player's got, obviously, to win the set. In the main, he's got to 60. average 94, 95. What do you require? 160. Uh, and, uh, it's imperative that Thompson, therefore, does well on his throw. Really makes Osborne... Work hard as he's looking at double top here now to level up. Not under pressure. pressure. 177 from Thompson. So. <laughs> yes. I think the one, the one aspect of Osborne's game he'll be a little concerned about is the finishing. 137. Three out of nine. He has to finish well, now after 20. that great visit there from Thompson. Yes. Fraction in now, I would say three quarters of an inch. That's more. Now that awful double five that wasn't kind to him Seven. earlier isn't kind to him now. And Thompson to go two nil up in legs and really put himself in a strong position in this set. Double ten, double five, same as Osborne. 30. Same as Osborne. It was the same Colin equation, wasn't it? Thompson's missed three here, Osborne has missed four. Three out of 12 here for Colin Osborne, the finishing. Every other aspect of his game has been spot on. This will be a major concern for Osborne. Game Ooh, in the second game. The last dive. Colin Osborne. Relief all Colin round. Christy four out of Robert. 15 on the finishing, though. Won't win you a world championship. He's going to have to improve to win this match. 100. Yes. The previous <laughs> to use the previous doubles at the previous darts there to help it in as he did earlier uh, on the double top I recall. One hundred and twenty-one. Yes, not quite there. The third. That was unlucky for Thompson. So with the treble five. Ninety. Finally finds the target. Osborne, after losing in the World Championship last year, has had a difficult year. Uh, second round in the Dublin, lost to Wade. First round at the Europeans, lost to Newton. First round at the World Match Play, lost to Jones. Fell at the second hurdle at the UK Open. And you have 55. to say, very un Osborne like. But he's stolen the darts here. He should really have won the opening leg to break the Thompson throw and didn't. Great chance again here. Yeah, good darts these. May have to come down. Not a way through. 97. It's the 97. Leaves 160. Good thinking. Had he had he hit the single 19, he'd have left 158, which is a more difficult finish, of course, than 160. Silly though that sounds. 160, two treble twenties and tops. Well, we've got six darts here, John, to break the throw because Thompson. Only 41 with the last three. Well, I wonder if he'll only need three. Oh. He might, you know, he might top for Osborne. Clip the wire, just clip the bottom wire. Well, Sarah there looking uh, pensive. Hoping that uh, Colin next time can take out double ten and not end up on that double five. Though well, he did hit it Colin, you require last 20. time round eventually. Line it up, down the line dart, side of the board, more or less, 20 past the hour, but again, inside it, up to five to the hour, in he can tell the time. The yeah, could be a big, big leg, as far as this match is concerned. 
As I say, John, impressed with the way he's gone about his business. He'll know that his to the top 10 in the world in 2011 and for me there's no reason why he can't do that one of the best for me in the world John when he's on form and it was only just over a year ago that he, he took out the great Phil Taylor to win championship league darts in style 100 100 and uh, yeah 80 ahead Osborne scoreboard 1-0 2-1 Brucey in the audience well you know what I mean 93 great last dart as well if you throw for the set if you've left yourself on a finish after 9 you can't really ask for too much more than that but this is pressure 140 it keeps him interested Colin you're in 147 Osborne He's got six darts from here, may well need them all. Yes, yeah, 147 difficult, but not impossible. Now then, a treble would have given double uh, 18, but uh, 131. The treble 18. that's fabulous shooting. That is really good stuff, and Thompson looks to me to be on the rack. Uh, Sarah Osborne <laughs> really is a nervous 44. watcher. Molyneux requires 16. Suffers more of the nerves than, uh, than Osborne himself does up on the stage. Oh, just the wrong side of the wire. Two darts here for the set. Yes. Game well, Colin Osborne the is doing more than Colin enough Osborne. here. Uh, really good performance despite missing quite a few darts at double. 94 average for the number 14 seed, but more importantly, a two sets to nil lead over the Yorkshireman Chris Thompson.